change something in their techniques or it's not uh, mentality or the test matches weren't great, but I'm focused on the T20 at the moment. I've only seen our players play in two T20 matches since I've been here, so I haven't really had enough time to have opinions about our batting, but I do know that we've got some really good players in there, and let's see how these next three T20s pan out. Test matches, uh, how optimistic you are in for T20 series? Yeah, we've got, we've got quite a few new players in this T20 side now. What we're trying to do is develop a T20 side to win the World Cup or to play well in the World Cup so and Asia Cup. So we've got three here, a couple in Asia Cup to get ourselves sorted for that World Cup. So we're going to be experimenting with the batting order and, and our philosophy around batting until we get it right for the World Cup. Do you that we do have the lackings of power leader or super power leader who can smash the ball all around the park. Yeah. At the same time, we have observed that we have a very Lacking, very much lacking in the singles, and we play so many top balls. Probably Bangladesh is the top most in the test and play the most dead top balls in the T20 yeah. arena. So, do you think it's a matter of concern from Bangladesh before the World Cup? Yeah, it's tough. We, as a as a nation, I don't think we've got lots of big players. We don't have lots of big cricketers like um, Josh Butler, is six foot two, six foot three, and very big. Glenn Maxwell, six foot two, Stoinis is that big. Um, so we've got to find other ways. We can't just overpower other sides. We have a very good bowling lineup. I don't think we need to make massive scores, but we do need to put good scores on the board. So singles are important, but boundaries definitely win T20 cricket. Singles don't win T20 cricket matches. It's a, it's more boundaries, win more, more matches. So we've got to still focus on power hitting. We've still got to focus on good cricket. Hitting fours is just, you know, it's almost as good as hitting lots of sixes. So if we can get more fours, more singles, less top balls, you're right, uh, and throw in a few sixes, then we'll, we'll start to put good scores on the board. Then our bowling attack can manage. I don't think we need to make massive scores. Yeah. Do you think uh, you need someone to do that regular basis? Or, uh, I, I think I'm quite capable of teaching yeah, yeah. power hitting, but... I, since I've been here, I think I've had about five training sessions. It's all been matches. Um, travel and, and training is, is what we need. We need lots of training sessions to develop skills. So that's what I need. A bit more time with the players and training if we're going to change the skills of the players. At the moment, we're always preparing to play a game. You can't tinker while you're playing. That's very hard for players to have new techniques or change their techniques and then play a test match. You need a bit of time to develop those skills. around 2011 as a coach of Bangladesh things are almost the same that if the tradition we actually talk about what is what is the difference you see is there any difference yeah I think the three best players plus Litton are still our most senior players which is I think what you're going to find in most teams when you get experience in international cricket you get better and that's what we need to make sure we're aware of that we can't keep chopping and changing players. You only get better by playing international cricket. Probably our wickets at home are not conducive to batting here, so we need to try and prepare our players a little bit better for bouncy wickets, which you get mostly around the world, apart from some of the subcontinent wickets. So it was a surprise, not a surprise, but it was hard work for our batsmen here in the test matches. In um, South Africa, it's spun a lot, uh, which we do get spin, but we, get, we don't get spin and bounce. So we're, we're getting found out a little bit by extreme wickets at times.